I'm Doug Varnberg and I did a bonehead move. This is the Rhino Rebel 64 direction tiller. The rotor actually turns this direction where the reverse actually brings the material from the tines from behind and up. The only difference you're going to see is there's no front shield here. Uh, it does have the big heavy side plates. Uh, it's a gear driven from the PTO over to the side and it is gear driven on this side down to the rotor. Uh, we're going to see it in two different soil types here and see if a forward tine uh, fits your operation. This is what happens when you don't remember where your uh, camera bag is. Um, I don't think that's warranty. Got a camera, got my <laughs> Minn Kota iPilot link controller, I got my 360 camera. Uh, there was a hard drive in there. Uh, that's a charger for my cell phone. What else do we get? Oh, I hope we got more stuff in here. Got the uh, infrared camera. Hope that works. SD cards. Did a pretty good number on that backpack last night with that Rhino Ag Tiller. Uh, I wouldn't suggest trying this at home. You want to talk about Minn Kota Tough? Last week I was doing a video and accidentally had my iPilot Link remote in my camera bag when it went through a Rhino uh, Rebel Series tiller doing a food plot video. Watch this. Watch that screen. Loading. It works. Now the touch screen portion of it don't work but uh, I can't get it to agree. They, hey! There's the buttons. All the buttons still work. It's just the Destroying that touchpad, got it, but Minn Kota Tough went through a Rhino Rebel Series tiller. These remotes are built tough to last long. You ain't going to have that kind of issues when you get out on the water. Get the, uh, deploy the uh, old track here with my pilot. We have our iPod Link remote. That I, uh, tried to destroy with a rhino ag tiller we're gonna jump in here and see if it works hit the, the touch screen won't work so I hit the check mark button it's loading um, to, to agree I've got to hit that button and check mark and there's my controller now let's see if it'll run the iPilot Turn our prop on. It's working. There's our prop off. We'll uh, reduce our prop down here. Turn our prop on. Turn the controller. Now that is Minn Kota tough. Look at that whack it took by that uh, Rhino Ag Tiller. It almost looks like it got into the board. The touchscreen part don't work, but the insides and that iPilot, I mean, it's still got dirt in it from uh, being tilled underneath the soil in that uh, video. It was a bonehead move, but man, I'm very impressed at the quality, the reliability, and the toughness of this Minn Kota iPilot Link controller. If you're looking for tough, durable equipment, man, Minn Kota. That rhino ag tiller took a, gave that thing a beating. Did what it was supposed to do with the tiller, but I never expected this controller to ever work again in my life. I knew the touch screen wouldn't work because of the damage, but I am totally amazed that it worked with the trolling motor. Does the function, the features that it's supposed to do. Took a licking and it kept on working. Minn Kota, 
you tested tougher than I ever expected you to.